Could Intel be bringing 8 cores to the mainstream? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. A little while back, there was a supposed Intel roadmap that leaked out on Anantech's forums. It revealed something a little odd. It actually showed the expected upgrade to the enthusiast Z270 boards, the Z370. But this particular roadmap also included a newer chipset to be released in the second half of next year, much further out than the expected release of the Z370 later this year. It's called the Z390, and up until now we really knew just about nothing on it. That is, until a Eurocom rep accidentally spilled some really good beans. In a forum post, Eurocom support wrote, and I quote, we are to update Tornado F5 to Z390 chipset supporting 8 core 16 thread CPUs coming in H2 of 2018. We will launch F7 at the same time too. We will skip Z370 chipset. Meantime, we're adding support for Quadro P5000 and P3000. Yeah, that's some big news to say the least. It's one thing to jump up a couple cores, but it's another entirely to effectively double both your cores and threads on your mainstream platform. With that said, this does pose some very important questions as well as some major concerns. Is the Z370 unable to work with the 8 core CPU? From the way Eurocom worded it, stating the Z390 chipset supporting 8 core 16 threads, the answer sounds like the Z370 won't. Hence why they're making the Z390 at all. That coupled with the fact that last year's Z270 likely won't work with the upcoming Coffee Lake chips if the reports have been accurate, then those who purchased the Z270 would have to purchase this year's Z370 and then again with next year's Z390. Then, presuming Canon Lake requires a new motherboard, which considering it's a die shrink, it's very likely, you'd have to upgrade again the following year. Basically, these might as well be APUs at this point since they wouldn't offer really any upgrade path in the future, given these presumptions are accurate. To top it off, there's been a recent report from Hardware.info that makes it pretty clear the Z370 won't be supporting KB Lake, at least not right now. That means you can't go ahead and sell your current motherboard to purchase a new one while just using your current CPU with the intention of upgrading a Coffee Lake later. Okay, so assuming all of this is true, which it very well may not be, these are essentially rumors at this point, but with the Eurocom reply, it certainly seems that Intel will be releasing mainstream 8-core CPUs later on at the very least. So I think the question you're probably wondering is why? Why wait? Why do this confusing crap? Honestly, I think it's mostly just Intel's continued attempt at thwarting AMD as quickly as possible. We've seen it with their actual enthusiast line. They clearly rushed to get the Core X out simply to remain on top instead of taking the time to make the best product they could. I really think they're pushing out the 6-core CPU to get something better out there quickly, while promising an 8-core for those willing to wait so they can hold on to as much market share as they can. Of course, this could come to bite them in the end when those who purchase the 6-core expecting the best with upgrade options are sorely disappointed next year when they've got to do it all over again, once again presuming my assumptions on this are accurate. And they'll have to do it because this is not just an IPC increase. We're talking two more cores and four more threads. That matters. But of course, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Are you just excited to see Intel upping the core count? Or do you think this is pretty poor how they plan to do it if these reports are correct? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.